I'm sorry, what? It is unequivocally the Super Bowl for New York Jet fans. Field Gates, baby. Field Gas Guardians. Let's bring him on the show. Come on, people. Connor Rogers is joining the show. What's up, Connor? But Trevor Gaston Sycamore, baby. For me, personally, my favorite New York Jet of all time. Wow, it's great to be on. What an intro that was right there. Paul, you, nobody does an intro like you, man. Paul, you, you give the best intro of literally any podcast that I'm, I've, I've ever seen. I'm gonna lose my gas darn bananas. Colin Kaepernick and the New York Jets. What year is it? Hey, everybody. My name is Paul Esden Jr., a.k.a. Boy Green. I'm the New York Jets digital reporter for Evie.com. Welcome to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash boygreen25. Colin Kaepernick and the New York Jets. By the way, the year is 2023. This is a thing. Full article details down below with this story. Here are the details, and uh, let's explain it and why this is not going to happen. But, uh, hey, it's a story. Uh, Colin Kaepernick's agent, after Aaron Rodgers got injured, reached out to the New York Jets to express interest in an NFL return, according to NFL insider Jordan Schultz of The Score. Like I said, full details are down below. He followed up that uh, conversation, apparently, with Jordan with a text. Uh, simply saying this, this is interesting. All I need is a shot. Here it is. I just need a shot. That's the text Kaepernick sent Schultz after this report in uh, referencing his potential opportunity with the Jets. Uh, Okay. Well, here we are, uh, heading into week two Jets Cowboys. And, uh, I'm not talking about Aaron Rodgers. I'm talking about potentially signing Colin Kaepernick. Here we go. Hashtag Jets, right? Here we are. So let's make this clear. Colin Kaepernick and his camp reached out to the Jets, not the other way around. And just because Colin Kaepernick reached out to the Jets doesn't necessarily mean anything. I I mean, it means something. We're doing a video talking about it. But I mean, it doesn't mean anything in the grand scheme. Because let's be honest. I mean, I'm happily engaged, of course. But in a world where I'm single, I mean, I could reach out to Megan Fox and let her know, hey, Megan, just want to throw this out there. I'm interested. In going out on a date. Okay. So I guess we had communication. If you call communication one way communication, that I reached out to Megan Fox and said, Hey, you want to do this thing? You're like, What? That doesn't guarantee Jack Nidley. Not that she'll respond or hell, even go through with the request. So Kyle Kaepernick can reach out to the Jets all he wants to, but like, guys, let's let's add a little reality to the world. Kyle Kaepernick is 35. He turns 36 in November. He hasn't played in the NFL since 2016. It was seven years ago, man. Seven years. Good Lord. I think RG3 said it well on ESPN's Get Up. We have the full quote down below as well, but I'm going to paraphrase. Bringing in a guy like Colin Kaepernick would be a distraction. Now, we could get into, at a different time, all the -the off-the-field things of being blackballed or this or that or any of his you know, non-football activities and how that may or may not have caused him to no longer play in the National Football League. We could save that for a different day. But the point is that this guy hasn't played in seven years. So if if you, the Jets, suddenly sign this guy here in 2023, of course it would be a story. It would be a national story. People would be talking about it on every show and all that. The Jets don't want that. The Jets made it very clear. Robert Sala did on Tuesday, September 12th. We had a video about it on Boy Green Daily in the live uh, stream part of the YouTube channel. If you hit the live section, you'll see it with my conversation with Italy Jet, where we explored this in full detail. The fact of the matter is, Robert Sala is rallying rallying the troops around Zach Wilson. They will have to add a quarterback with Aaron Rodgers out for the season, but he said that that will not be a competition. So whoever's coming in is like being QB2, QB3. QB3 initially, because of Tim Boyle, he will be elevated to be QB2, and then eventually it will flop, and Tim Boyle will probably go back down to the practice squad, and whoever they sign will be the new QB2 in a break-the-glass emergency situation. So Robert Sala wants to keep this low-key. Like, here's a name that the Jets reach out to. Not that insert guy reach out to the Jets. Chad Henney. He is retired. He was most recently with the Kansas City Chiefs, won a Super Bowl as a backup. 
he is a Mark Brunel, Jets reference, a Mark Brunel level guy, an old ass guy who will hold a clipboard and provide some insight, but but no real threat to Zach Wilson as a starting quarterback. That is what Chad Henney, those are the waters that the Jets are dabbling in. Colin Kaepernick says he wants a shot, quote unquote, and is cool being a backup. I've seen some of the quotes over the years. Like that causes a distraction because the moment Zach Wilson throws an incompletion or an interception, people will rally on social media, put in cap, put in cap, put in cap. And here's the thing. I think Kaepernick in his day and age in the NFL was dynamic as this dual threat guy. He was in the Super Bowl, the 49ers. He took the gig away from Alex Smith who had a concussion. Like, I remember the story. Kaepernick is talented. He he very much is. But this would be a distraction. If you're willing to just sign Kaepernick and say, screw Zach Wilson, this is the Kaepernick show. No NFL team has been willing to do that. And I doubt the Jets would be the first. If you're willing to do that, then okay, maybe we can have a separate conversation. But the Jets are sticking with Zach Wilson. So they're not going to bring in Kaepernick, who could be a massive distraction. And RG3 basically said on the show that it's not because we can't play. We'd just be a big distraction. If me, he was talking of himself, RG3, or Kaepernick, any of those guys coming in, the Jets are going to go for a lower level guy. I'd be shocked if it's some crazy big name with a like a Carson Wentz or uh, maybe like Nick Foles is a more, hey, he's been a backup forever. Like Wentz has been the guy basically wherever he's been. So that one may be a little bit more difficult. But like Colin Kaepernick to the Jets is not happening. But I felt compelled because of the name value and people buzzing about it on social media that I had to address this. Again, the Jets and Colin Kaepernick are not happening. He can reach out. And by the way, it's smart for his people to reach out. Let's be honest. Obviously, he hasn't been in the league since 2016. He's been training out on the West Coast, hoping for the opportunity of a lifetime to get back into the league. So I don't blame him or his representation for reaching out to the Jets. That's smart. The Jets are suddenly in a position where they need a guy, and they're like, well, I'm available. Hey, just so you know. So I'm not blaming Kaepernick or his agent. I'm just simply saying that, like, with my Megan Fox example, come on. Come on. That ain't happening. It's just not. Again, I anticipate a Chad Henney level guy. They're going to have to add a guy because they got Zach Wilson and Tim Boyle as of we're doing this video here on uh, Wednesday morning. They have to add somebody just by the numbers. But on in, in a short week against the Dallas Cowboys, it will be Zach Wilson QB1, Tim Boyle QB2, and then maybe they sign a guy before the Cowboys game that is QB3 temporarily and eventually QB2 who takes it back from Boyle because Boyle is not good. But that's the plan by the New York Jets. You can hate that plan if you want to, but that's what the Jets are doing. For better or for worse, they're writing out Zach Wilson. And if you're surprised by this, then you haven't been paying attention. Because in the offseason, the Jets made it very clear that Zach Wilson is QB2, which means if Aaron Rodgers were to ever get hurt, Zach Wilson would be QB1. They made that clear during the offseason. They didn't talk a lot about the potential of Aaron Rodgers getting hurt because if we're being honest, according to the statistics, okay, Aaron Rodgers has appeared in 81 out of 82 possible games since 2018. 81 of 82. So despite the advanced age, Aaron Rodgers has been healthy as an ox. So of course, as soon as he comes to the Jets, he gets beat with a rusty wrench. And uh, unfortunately, you know, uh, the football gods say, F you Jets, and they do that. So I'm sure they didn't think about the potential of Rodgers getting hurt since he hadn't gotten hurt in years. We're talking five plus years. It's a massive sample size. But Zach Wilson is the guy. And we will see for how long. We'll see how long that leash is. It sounds like, according to Salah, that leash is pretty long. Maybe to the bye week, which, by the way, is coming up in week seven ahead of the week eight matchup against the New York Giants. Kaepernick, Chad Henney, another name that expressed interest is Joe Flacco. No, thank you, by the way. Absolutely not. I've seen enough Joe Flacco. I've probably seen more Joe Flacco than I want to see for the rest of my life. So, Chad Henney, fine. Again, he gets money. He's a backup. The, the backup quarterback gig is the best gig in all of sports. Let's be honest. So we will see. But Kaepernick to the Jets is absolutely not happening. You guys can read the rest of the story down below with some more details on this. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in for uh, this quick 10-minute uh, video, checking us out. Make sure you like the video. Hit subscribe down below. We do live streams every single day, live, every morning. It's called Boy Green Daily at 7.30 a.m. talking all things New York Jets. This entire channel, it's all things New York Jets. We also do a live New York Jets post-game show after every single game. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in, and we will see you uh, tomorrow morning, I'm sure, for Boy Green Daily.